thought that I would take you along my evening routine today. I love my evenings to be calm, but also very productive. I recently started falling in love all over again with learning. I feel like I'm a kid and everything is so intriguing to me. I've been researching fashion of the Edwardian period and the Battle of Troy. <laughs> like, so many random things. I've also started teaching myself German and how to draw and paint. When I was in school, I feel like I kind of lost that love for learning because it was something that I was forced to do that I had to do. But now that I can just do it for my own fun and leisure, I love it. And so this evening routine is going to be quite productive, but also very calm and peaceful at the same time. Lots of classical music and tea drinking will be involved. But first, I wanted to say a very big thank you to today's sponsor, which is Book of the Month. Book of the Month is a super popular and extremely fast growing online book subscription service. Their mission is to promote new and emerging authors to help their readers discover new books that they'll love. Their team vets hundreds of new released books every month and then you get to choose from their top five picks. And it's absolutely risk-free because if none of the books pique your interest that month, which doesn't usually happen, but if it happens, you can simply press skip month. So you're guaranteed to only get the books that you want and that you are interested in. One of my favorite parts of book of the month is that they get early release titles meaning if a book comes out at the end of the month and you're super excited about it you can read it before anyone else if book of the month chooses it as one of their top five picks for that month this month you can use the code new books and to get your first book for only 9.99 so if you're interested you can use the link down in my description box and get your first book for only 9.99 and they were kind enough to send me all of their january books so let me quickly tell you what their january selection is first up we've got a historical fictional called Outlawed by Anna North. This one is a feminist spin on your classic Western type story. And then next we have a romance with the most beautiful cover. It's called The Dating Plan. I know it's going to have a such romantic comedy vibes. It's about a couple who pretend that they're engaged and possibly fall in love in the process. And then next is their thriller pick for the month, which is The Survivors by Jane Harper. This one involves an eerie seaside town that is burdened by secrets, storms, and an unsolved murder. And then we've got a literary fiction called The Prophets. This one is about an endangered love between two enslaved men. Based on the book of the month blurb, it says that it's expansive, devastating, lyrical, beautiful, and this is also a debut. And then finally, we've got a contemporary fiction novel called The Removed by Brandon Hobson. This one is a genre bending book about the tragedies and legacies that impacted one Cherokee family. And I think that I am most excited for The Outlawed because I love historical fiction. So this will probably be the one that I pick up first. My evening routine usually starts with a late afternoon frolic with my dog, D'Artagnan, up in the mountains, and it's so beautiful. And in the winter, that means we're usually out there by around 4.30. Pretty confident that no other dog loves the snow as much as D'Artagnan does. He'd play out there all day, forever with me if he could. I think sometimes he thinks he's actually secretly a husky. I like to use this time to also soak up some of the last rays of sunshine before we transition to the evening. Once we get back home, I like to make a cup of tea to get warm again. I've been loving this peach lemon loose leaf tea recently. Not only does it taste good, but it smells so amazing. It tingles all of my senses every time I drink it. And then it's time for my daily ritual of turning off all the artificial light, putting on some candles, and then I watch the sky turn from orange to blue, and I'm always in awe of how deep blue the sky gets right after the sun disappears behind the mountains. To me, it's pure magic.
after I've had my time to relax, I feel ready to be productive. Tonight, I'm starting with drawing. I only just recently started teaching myself how to draw, so I'm still very much a beginner. I'm going to be launching my Patreon later this month, so I'm currently working on a bookshelf print that will be available to all my patrons. I love drawing because I get completely lost in it, just like reading a good book. I think it's completely necessary to allow yourself time to get lost in something. It gives your soul time to recharge and at the same time be completely free. And of course, I can't continue on with my evening routine without giving D'Artagnan all the cuddles. Then I will drink some water and prepare for my German lesson. I'm currently using the Duolingo app and it has been actually so good and extremely helpful. It makes it so easy to learn, like I'm not even learning anything at all if that makes sense. I always write down key vocabulary words from the categories that I'm currently learning about. Right now it's articles, directions, and places. That's restaurant. That sounds like French. Oh, oh no. That was a big blob. I feel like Joe March. That's restaurant. That's restaurant. I sound, that sounds, the bibliothèque is in der nähe. I don't know how to say that right. Is it dear, d or das? Articles are going to be the death of me. I actually just started learning German according to my Duolingo. Um, I'm on my 20 day streak now, so I started just 20 days ago. It's been really fun, but articles are so hard. I am one fourth German because my mom's mom, so my Omi, or Oma, we call her Omi, but I think Oma is like the correct word for grandma. Uh, she grew up in Germany. She was there when Hitler was there and all of that, you know, and um, my mom spent over six years living in Germany and so she speaks fluent German and my dad also speaks fluent German because he was stationed in the Air Force in Germany and that's actually where my parents met was in Germany and I've traveled there a lot. I love it. I love Bavaria the most and I really want to go back and maybe even possibly live there for some time. So I really want to learn German. And if you would have told me like two years ago that I would have wanted to learn German, I would have said, you were crazy because I've always wanted to learn Italian, but my husband speaks Italian, so I thought it would be nice for me to speak German so that when we travel around Europe, he can speak Italian in Italy and I can speak German in at least Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. It's been so fun though. I see my progress and I get so excited because I took Spanish in high school. Like most students here in the US, I could just write down some grammar and that's it. But this is the first time I can actually read full sentences and even the Duolingo app has some stories you can read, like short stories and I can understand everything. It feels like another world and I actually just can't believe that I'm able to like speak these sentences and read all these sentences and totally understand and it's only been 20 days. So where am I gonna be a year from now? I usually eat a pretty late dinner around maybe nine o'clock. Tonight we just had leftover Mexican food from the night before. It doesn't look so good, but it was delicious. Oh God, I'm gonna break it. <laughs> <laughs> it explodes. After dinner, I love to bake. I'll bake anything from cookies to cake to pie. Tonight, I decided to make some chocolate chip banana bread. Late night baking is just good for the soul, so if you've never done it, you definitely should. Maybe not so good to eat right before you go to bed, but there's just something special about the dim lighting and the warm smells that it brings to the house. It smelled so good. I couldn't wait to have a slice or two. At this point, I usually watch an episode of whichever show I'm currently watching, and right now it was, of course, Bridgerton. I am in love with this aesthetic and music and extremely sweet love story. To me, the beautiful woman is one thing, but 
But to meet your best friend in the most beautiful of women is something entirely apart. Please with my sincerest apologies. I love you. After that, I will usually get in some comfy sweats. At this point in the evening, the temperature really starts to drop and it gets really cold, so the sweats keep me warm. I'll have another cup of tea, and this time I'm having a beautiful chamomile tea with a little bit of honey. It's so perfect for the cold winter evenings. Then I'll head back to my room and wrap myself in a blanket and get ready to do one of my all-time favorite hobbies, research. I've always loved looking up houses for sale and right now it's been looking up cottages for sale in England. I want to move to the English countryside eventually, so I also do this as a way to start manifesting what I want my future to look like. Tonight I actually found my dream cottage in my dream location. I, I just found my dream place to live. Are you like... It has, a, it has a little bridge. So I searched for how much money it would be in USD. Almost a million dollars. So of course, I also searched for how much money I would need to be making in order to afford such an expensive house. Doing this pushes me to work hard and have goals that I'm working towards. Some people want to buy cars or designer clothes, and for me, it's a cottage in the countryside. Someday. I also love to search for vintage music on one of my favorite websites. It's called archive.org. I've also been reading these Victorian magazines called The Girl's Own Paper. It has everything from fashion, music, dresses for bicycling, for example, lots of pictures, and even poetry. Around 11.30, I'll change out of my sweats and into my nightdress. I actually found this one at my local thrift store. I love to romanticize it and imagine that it's the Victorian time period or that I'm a sister in the March family. And there's something about getting ready for bed by the warm candlelight, seeing the flames dance on the wall, it's my own perfect little moment. After this, I usually have literally my midnight snack. It's a secret that is not very well known, but it's true that grapefruit just tastes better at night. It's the little things, you know? Any life can be simple or ordinary, but you just gotta look at it in a non ordinary way and all of a sudden everything has more meaning because you give it meaning like this amazing grapefruit <sighs> then I will wash up take off all my makeup and then I usually listen to an audiobook while I brush my teeth and get all ready for bed Always the last thing I do before I go to sleep is read. It is the perfect way for me to turn off my brain and escape all the stresses of the day and put it all behind me. I'm currently reading Jane Austen's Emma. It's one of my all-time favorite books. It is so funny and also so relatable and deep at the same time. I usually read for 20 to 30 minutes and then my eyes start to feel really sleepy. So I will blow out my candles and settle in for a good night's sleep. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video. Bye friend.